This is an example of a self-reflective journey. We've got five questions to be used in a live setting. These questions are based on leadership, but they could be centered around any human-based endeavor. This strategy is run in four parts. Firstly, people answer these questions individually online, but during the live session. The second part is that they read their colleagues' answers and respond to as many of those as possible. The third part is that in groups of three, they verbally discuss their thoughts and reactions in person, live, during the session. And finally, each group verbally shares via a spokesperson their takeaways to the whole cohort. Now note that in order to use this approach, you need to have a system that allows for multiple questions on the one page. If you can only have one question per page, then you need five or more pages in order to run this activity and it's too much flipping and flopping between pages, it just doesn't work. So having multiple questions on the one page is a game changer. So what do the reflections look like? Well, in question four, so you can see it show responses, it's a bit faint there, but if I click that, these are all test accounts, but the answers are answers to question four that AI gave me as reasonable answers. And then what I've done is written reflections from each of these four accounts. So Courtney, she uses an approach that is based on empathy and dialogue, and if you open up the reflections, you can see everyone has responded to that. So Simon, Gary, Jason, and Courtney, and Courtney's responded to Simon, Jason, and Gary's responses. So that's what it looks like. It opens up on the side. I really like this because you don't lose all this real estate here. You don't have like hundreds of comments in a thread. You've, so there's a conversation within this answer. So Simon wrote his response, and there's a number of replies there. And Gary's written his response, and there's a number of replies there. And so it goes on. I had a bit of fun with this one because Gary says that they train their staff in conflict resolution. So when it happens, they're much more on top of it. And Courtney asks, how do you handle new team members who haven't been through the training? Do you have to get the trainer in and run the initial series of sessions? And Gary replies, who's obviously me, um, <laughs> uh, regarding Courtney's question, no, actually we work with Learn, Implement, Share. They steered us away from live only training and got us to go hybrid. Most of the content is delivered via self-paced online. So when new staff arrive, we simply plug them into the online aspect. They then join the monthly live team meetings to embed the training. And that's what I think is the best way to go. Anyway, I couldn't resist just pointing that out. So anyway, that's what it looks like. You've got the top level answers up here and then the reflections occur in the side panel. So that's it for the walkthrough of the strategy that is an online self-reflective experience within a live setting. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got questions, reach out and perhaps we can have a chat. Thanks for watching.